Um, for you to take advantage of the opportunity that you did um, in the Cleveland game, what was your physical preparation? What was your mental preparation? Um, I just tried to, like they called me in the morning, like 10 o'clock in the morning. My flight was at 11.24. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I had, to, I had to get up and get moving because I was, I was tired from the night before. But, um, you know, I came up, took a little nap, and then I just had, I just need to bring energy to the team, and uh, I think I did that. At what point can you really lock in on what mm -hmm. you're needed, what's needed from you, and what you mm -hmm. can do? Just uh, getting the call that morning. Yeah, uh, I knew we were missing a couple of pieces to the team, and uh, coach told me that he was gonna he's gonna give me minutes. So just he said, just go out there and be aggressive, and uh, you know, just try to look to score and just make make winning plays. Keelan, what's it like? I mean, playing three games in a row, mm -hmm. night after night after night in different cities. Uh, I feel like it's AAU again. So. <laughs> Um, you just got to get your rest and, you know, hydrate as possible, much as possible. Um, been on a lot of flights, so uh, I just had to be prepared for, for this, you know, that's what I signed up for. And, and I mean, in, in the Cleveland game, you were kind of a central figure at, at, at times. I mean, what's it like to just have that, yeah, have the coaches give you the faith to, to kind of go out there and, and take as many shots as you did? Um, they, they believe in me. They, you know, they, they told me to shoot it um, whenever I'm open, you know, just be aggressive. And um, you know, I, I think I did that. You know, uh, made made a, made a few big shots um, for our team, and uh, you know, other guys stepped up too. But you know, you got to be willing to do that every game. Situations like that, how, how uh, is it hard to stay rested, or, or kind of how do you get your sleep in on, on, on days like this when you're going three games and three nights? Uh, it is hard to get rested. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of time changes, time zones, but. Uh, like I said, staying hydrated, staying hydrated, and just trying to trying to force myself to sleep. You know, sleep as much as possible. Does it feel like the defensive side of the floor is maybe slowing down for you a little further into, into yeah. the year? Yeah, know, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it, it's helped me in the G League a lot. You know, just learning our principles because we have the same principles down there, um, and just you know talking with other coaches and uh, you know figuring out with other players, and it's becoming more easier. What's the biggest adjustment between G League and the NBA in terms of what you do on offense, the ability to get your shot off and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff? Um, I think it's just all about, you know, uh, being smart, uh, taking taking high quality shots. You know, in the G League, you got a bunch of guys that's going to, you know, that can score in, in the league. There's a lot of guys with roles, different roles. So, um, you know, just me coming up here, just, you know, taking good shots like I, like I usually do um, and just being aggressive. So your shot selection is a little bit more judicious yeah, up here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Do yeah. you feel like it's um, been helpful? It seems really in ways that the G League roster, the way it's constructed, like Nas, Cat, you, know, you, Jared, Jordan, Jeff, it's like, it, is that real, I guess, where it seems like you guys, the, the roles you play there mirror in ways the roles on this team? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, preparing us to get ready for the, for the big league. So um, just going out there, getting a lot of, getting as many reps as possible, just trying to play the right way. And then once we get caught up here, um, just taking advantage of the opportunity. Of, of all the things that you did mm -hmm. in that game, whether it was hit a shot or, or mm -hmm. the defense or it steals or whatever, what mm -hmm. was it to you personally that you were the most satisfied with for your own game? I think it's just, just my energy. Um, just coming off the bench, knowing I played, that was my third game in three days. Uh, knowing I had to come up, like bring energy, come off the bench, and uh, just being able to score for our team and uh, doing other things like rebounding, like you said, defending, and doing a lot of a lot of good things for the team uh, in order us for the win. So were you running to the gate uh, when you got, after you got the call, or, or how, how much time did you have before uh, it took off? I had plenty of time. It was, it was like a delay, so I, uh, I was fine. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't rushing or anything. One of the times we're happy to see the play. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. No traffic in Iowa either. So no, 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 yeah, I'm fine, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah.